Hey guys, my name is Donnie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of building a motorhome from scratch. And guys, in this episode I'm going to continue working on this plug that I made in the previous one and I'm going to attempt to make or take a mold from this plug. So let me show you where I am at the moment and how I intend on making or taking this mold. So guys, this is what the plug looks like at the moment. In the last video I left you where I was just starting sanding it down and getting the basic frame and shape that I was looking for. And then I spent days and days finishing it off to a point where I feel that it is absolutely perfect and looks exactly the way that I want it or the final product to look like. Because guys, this plug needs to look exactly how you want the final product to look like because it's going to copy everything perfectly. So I spent a lot of time making sure that all the edges and all the corners and all the roundings and everything was absolutely perfect. And then I painted a couple of layers of normal household PVA over it and I sanded it down again the same way that I would when I finished off or when I, if I was finishing off a normal car. So guys, the reason why I decided on making this plug, or let me rather say, there are a couple of ways that I could have made this front end. For instance, I could have just taken some foam and shaped it into the basic shape or form that I wanted. I put a couple of layers of fiberglass on top of that and sanded it down and finished it off and I would have had myself a nice front end. I could have also, when I made this steel frame inside, just covered it, put a couple of layers of fiberglass on top of it, fill out on top of that and painted it and I would have had myself a nice product. But guys, the reason why I went this way by making a plug first is that number one, the, the material that I used make, to make this plug, the household filler and PVA paint and so on, are so much easier and cheaper to work with than automotive filler and paint and so on. And it is so much nicer to sand down because it's so much softer. And now that I've got this plug, if I make a mold, I will have the ability to make many of these bonnets and front ends if I want in future because I'm going to have a mold of that. The other advantage also is if I make a product from the mold I will only be using as much fiberglass as I absolutely need because there won't be any dents or mistakes or anything that I need to, that I need to fill with filler and add weight to the product and so on. So it's going to be as light as it possibly can be which is very important in this instance and the finish should be absolutely perfect when I take it out of the mold I won't have to do anything to finish it off now guys the only disadvantage when using this or this PVA and filler when I was making this plug is that it is heavy and it is not very strong so my work is starting to show a little bit of cracks and I feel that there might be a joke in there somewhere and that is why I have now decided that this is how far I'm going to be going as far as finishing it off and now I can start preparing it to take a mold and the first thing that I need to do is I need to start polishing up or I need to wax that mold with some normal household floor wax and make sure that the whole thing is waxed put a couple of layers of wax on there polish it down wax it again polish it down making sure that it is absolutely smooth and perfect and then I'm going to be using this water-based release agent and I'm going to paint it on with a brush and wait for it to dry and after it has dried I will show you what the next step is in making this mold Okay guys, time for an update. I've now finished uh, waxing and polishing this old plug as best as I possibly could and then I applied this pink releasing agent on top of it so that I would be absolutely sure that when I start making a mold on top of this 
that it'll certainly be able to delaminate and not cause me any unnecessary problems with it sticking or anything like that so guys now the next step in this process is the first step in making a mold and that is going to be layering the first layer on top of this plug and that guys is going to be a layer or a coat of white gel coat that is basically just epoxy that has been um, colored or dyed or stained and i chose white and i and i also think that it's a little bit thicker than normal epoxy uh, resin and i'm going to be mixing that and then just coating this whole part with a layer of gel coat and then after that i can start layering some fiberglass on top of that now guys that gel coat serves a or the now guys the purpose that that gel coat serves is that well firstly it makes the inside of the mold nice and white or black or whatever color you're going for and secondly it helps to just be 100 percent sure that the resin reaches and goes into all the nooks and crannies and that there aren't any bubbles or air holes that that um, form in the mold so let me mix that give it a layer of white gel coat and then we can take it from there Okay guys, so I've now applied a layer of gel coat on top of this plug and like I said, this has now become the first layer of what's going to be my mold. So I could theoretically now, because I put some releasing agent in between this gel coat and the plug, I could theoretically take this shell off already and I would have myself a perfect mold of what is on the inside. But the same as with an eggshell, it would most certainly crack and break if I try to peel it off now because it is very thin and brittle. So I need to now reinforce this mold. And the way that I'm going to be doing that is by applying a couple of layers of fiberglass chopped strand. And I'm going to put a first layer of 300 gram, grams of chopped strand on top of that gel coat now and then i'm going to put a couple of layers of 450 gram chopped strand on top of that and the reason why i'm using the 300 gram chopped strand first is because it is thinner and it will easily or more easily mold around the corners and so on and then i can put some thicker chopped strand on top of that just to give it extra strength and when all of that is dry i will be able to remove this mold from the plug now guys the other thing the other issue that i do have at the moment is that gravity is against me as far as working with the fiberglass because if i'm gonna be putting some fiberglass underneath it'll most certainly not stick to the mold and it's gonna fall off so i'm gonna have to be a little bit unconventional when going about making this mold i want to actually take this whole nose off and put it on its back so that i can then easily put some fiberglass on top of that but because i made this plug out of normal filler and it is not strong at all i cannot take it off already now because it will certainly crack and break so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start making my mold or start reinforcing this mold with the fiberglass as at least the top areas where gravity won't be against me and i'll reinforce and i'll start building this plug and i'll not necessarily 
go around the corners yet and go underneath yet and as soon as I've got a couple of layers on top of that I'm gonna remove it and put it there on the ground and I'll be able to then do the rest of the fiberglass work with this nose standing on end like this so it is probably a little bit unconventional but I'm gonna try and do it that way so that I at least know that this plug won't crack and break and fail on me before I finished making this mold so let me start with that layer and then work from there and we'll see how it goes Okay guys, I have now finished laying all of the fiberglass that I deemed necessary and if there's one tip that I can give you, one thing that you should keep in mind if you ever do something like this is to make sure that when you are putting the fiberglass down that there aren't any bubbles underneath the fiberglass, especially not the first layer because that is what gives the gel coat its strength. If there's a bubble in between there, you're going to take it off and that white shell, eggshell it's going to crack and break and you're going to have to repair it so just make sure that especially the first layer has got absolutely no air bubbles in it and then you can put a couple of layers of the thicker strand uh, chop strand fiberglass on top of that now i have already put fiberglass on all of the spots that um, that gravity pulls down on so the only things that are left now is putting some fiberglass at the bottom of this piece over here at the bottom of those indicators and at the bottom of this plug here by the scoop and for me to do that i'm going to have to remove this whole plug and place it on end here in my workshop so that i can reach those spots and that gravity won't be against me so i'm going to remove this whole plug now with the mold on top of it and hopefully it doesn't fall and break into a million pieces and i'm going to lay it on there Put a couple of layers of fiberglass on top, on top of that and then hopefully I'll be able to delaminate it I'm gonna have myself a beautiful mold so let's get going
everybody guys this is exciting times I have now finished making this mold and I used the grinder and I just trimmed off all of these edges so that this mold would easily come loose from the plug and the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this rubber mallet and I'm just going to start pounding this mold so that it will help it delaminate from the piece underneath and then hopefully I'll be able to remove this mold completely I'm fully expecting the plug underneath to get damaged because obviously it is not very strong but as long as my mold is nice and strong it doesn't matter because I'm going to throw the plug away in any case so let me start by tapping it and see if we can get it loose and off of this plug guys another thing that I did is I split this mold in two because this part's going to become the bonnet and that's going to be the bumper so I just cut it in half so that I can separate these pieces in two pieces and then make a separate mold for the top and a separate one for the bottom just so you guys would know let's continue A few moments later Okay guys, with a little bit of effort, I was able to take this mold off completely and like I said, the plug is disintegrated, which is not a problem. So I'm just going to remove the bottom part now and then I'm going to hose everything off and wash off all of that pink releasing agent and that should give me a perfect mold. So let me do that quickly in time lapse and then we can see what it looks like. Alrighty guys, there we go, one by or two by molds for the front end of this motorhome. Guys, I struggled somewhat to get it off of the original plug. It was very stubborn and very sticky and at the end of the day, I had to use the pressure washer to just chip away at all of that stubborn plaster that was still sticking to the mold. There's still some plaster here and there that needs to come off but eventually it does come off quite nicely. It's not fused to the mold but it is very sticky and stubborn. I've learned a lot um, as far as 
how I'm going to be going about making the product from here on out because I need to be sure that it is even smoother and silkier and cleaner than what this was so that the product when I make that now is going to come off easily guys another thing that I've now noticed in the meantime is that even though this is a perfect negative of the product that I'm going to make this fiberglass is still somewhat flexible because of its size so I'm going to have to make or reinforce it with some steel on the on the on the outside so that it will keep its shape when I start making a product so what I'm going to do is I'll just put this one back onto that steel frame because that one is still intact and then um, when I know that it is perfectly fitted I can just make a steel structure that I'm going to fiberglass onto this and that will also give it something to rest on when I start making the fiberglass mold uh, product on top of that and the same goes for this I'll just put that back on there and just reinforce it with some steel but guys and another thing that I also can do now is even though it is nice and smooth I can go over it with a very very fine wet sanding paper and a block and just make 100% sure that if there, are, there were any pit marks or anything I can now easily sand everything out and make sure that this is perfectly smooth and exactly how I want it before I start making a mold but guys that's going to be it for this video as far as the making of this mold goes in the next video I can now do the exact opposite of what I did and make a product by putting some um, releasing agent on this mold putting a couple of layers of fiberglass on top of that and then I can take that out and I'll have myself a perfect front end and I can also put in the reinforcings on the inside for where the hinges are going to go and the catches and so on but that's going to be for another video see you guys next time cheers